So anyway, Melody and I went by uh, Walmart today. I don't, I'm not into all these four, five, six hundred, thousand dollar grills. Welcome to another episode of Salty Country. I want to give everybody an update. Uh, the last episode where we were working on the water line, I had mentioned in the video that I was going to knuckle the boom. And what I mean by that, on an excavator, you can not swing the cab and you can just swing the boom left or right. Um, the button is on my left control handle and it didn't work. It was swinging one way, making a weird noise when I tried to swing it the other way. So I didn't put two and two together at the time. So I went ahead and signed off of that episode and Melody and I were getting everything cleaned up to bring back up to the house. And I noticed a hydraulic leak on the excavator. Um, we were down a hill, a pretty steep hill, probably a 30 foot, 40 foot drop in a couple hundred feet. So uh, we were down by the road. So I wanted to get the excavator back up to the house. So. I'll probably share just a clip from the last episode where I mentioned that's going to knuckle the boom. And then I will probably share some of the troubleshooting videos that Melly and I did trying to figure out exactly where the leak was coming from. Um, so to update you on that, we tried several times to figure out where the leak was. On the right side of the excavator, that panel, that whole side raises up where the hydraulic control valve is. It appeared to be coming from the second valve in a series of valves that controls different functions. Um, we tried or I tried to video it from the top. It instantly sprayed my camera. So I had to stop what I was doing, take my phone to the house and scrub everything and get it cleaned back up. So then 
we cut a water bottle to try to keep the hydraulic fluid from soaking us while we we're trying to film it and we uh, filmed a couple of uh, different videos or actually several trying to figure out where it was leaking but could never ever pinpoint the exact locations you know I was hoping it was maybe an o-ring or a hose or something like that that had blown but looks like it may be something to do with the control valve so called caterpillar it's about a 30 or 40 mile drive from here called them and dropped off the excavator this past monday uh, i did speak with them yesterday and they they were super busy they they're running two shifts um, they've got a lot of equipment down in for maintenance right now so they're trying to catch up supposed to get an update monday and then uh, i'll know more about when they're going to possibly have it fixed hoping that they get it ready by wednesday thursday but we'll see um this afternoon well let me back up this morning got up and came out washed my truck uh the humidity here has been down it's actually been low 60s in the morning upper 50s for a few days it's been pretty nice so i got out here this morning washed my truck cleaned it up good and our grill that we our old grill was on its last leg um i think two years ago i said hey uh, we need to get us another grill. We'll maybe see if we can get one more season out of it. Well, we got a couple seasons out of it. And it's just falling apart. So, anyway, Melody and I went by um, Walmart today. I don't, I'm not into all these four, five, six hundred, a thousand dollar grills. Just to me, uh, you're cooking food, and and that's it. I mean, I, I just don't I don't spend a lot of money on a grill. So anyway, I looked up online. They had had this grill. It was on sale for like ninety four bucks, three burner. That's all we need for two of us. So went and picked it up. Melody and I have been out here for probably over an hour hour and a half to put this thing together um wasn't that bad but it it just takes time there's a lot of parts but anyway i i wanted to update everybody because you know our normal episode is is due so uh i haven't been doing a lot i had a bobcat out the other day to take the trash to the road and uh, I've got the tree out by the road that we had cut down uh, I give it away a gentleman came and picked picked the tree up he cut up cut it up and took all of it and I went out there and kind of cleaned up the little bit of debris that was left around it so that I can take the mower out there but this evening we're just sitting out here enjoying the weather got a couple hamburgers on the grill and hopefully the next episode um, we'll have the excavator back and I may share uh, the video right here at the, at the end as I close out or a photo of the excavator loaded and ready to head to uh, cat so 
I just wanted to get, update everybody where we're at. I hope we have a real fall this year. I hope we don't go from summer to winter. It's been nice for the last few mornings, but it's not going to last. We're going to be back in the 70s this week for the lows and then the mid, mid 90s for the highs. As long as the humidity's down, it's not that bad. But anyway, that's uh, where we are right now. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Remember, if you like our content, subscribe, share it with your friends. We'll see you on the next one.